we are saying may God bless you may at your age may God do wonders and show himself upon your life Say, my desire is that when I grow old, I must be like him in terms of age and wisdom. Amen. Christians, I know that it's tough. 21 days of fasting, it has not been easy. Others, it's more, others are still going for food. But there's two things that today as we finish in this church, except those that are proceeding, we there are a few things left now with sit bump as we finish, is that things that have been stolen by the enemy shall be restored this season. You shall no longer suffer the pain of yesterday. And as things are beginning to shape in your life, no to and your foundations might have been shaking over the years, but you are standing on the solid rock that is Jesus Christ. We will read the word. I forgot, I am also with my cousin who has been driving me and be with me for quite some time. It has been a, a week. I was preaching on Monday. Wednesday, Friday, twice, then it's today. And in three different provinces this week. It has been a good week, but I'm glad that I am here. And also that God is doing a new thing in South Africa, and I don't want to miss that revival. And also may you not miss that revival. It's meant for you and for your children. Are we fine? Yeah. I'm requesting that we read the word. Then and all after that, let us not sit down, then we go to worship. Second Kings chapter number four. Second Kings chapter number four. Om yum sabeledi, no ma om yum muntu. Atma peganenes in the number, Antena, we are matuana bark. A pin the footy aba hole, the entry day. Mobalem de la Este and then I axio in the light. This is to the verse number, verse number five. Then we then jumped. To forge and, uh, and then we also do Second Kings eight six. That's twenty nine. That's from the lion. Chapter number four. Second King. Second Kings four. Verse number six. Let me read. When the vessel was full, she said to her son, Bring another. And uh, she said to her, There is no any other. Then the oil stopped to flow. Second Kings. Chapter number 8, verse number 6. The king asked the woman about it. She told him what happened. Then the king commanded one of the officials to take care of her, saying, I am being taken care. I'm being taken care. The king said to him, the woman must receive everything that belongs to her. Say, receive. She must also receive the value of all the crops that have grown in her field since the day she went away. Verse number 6 in Second Kings, it says, they were no longer vessels to hold. 
and the oil stopped to flow. This chapter says, this woman, after the king has heard, make sure that she receives everything since she has left our land, including the profit that they have made out of her land. That is another translation. May you receive the profit that they have made trying to rob you and trying to rob anything that has happened in your life. But God, and Lord Jesus, that as we finish this prayer, you shall receive more than the double portion because everything that he has taken from you and by them, we are about to back. Let's sing that song.
Because where there are challenges, there is an opportunity for me. The Bible says there was an opportunity for Joseph. I am saying, wherever you are, May you see an opportunity and advance the kingdom of God. Because the Bible says, those that trust in the Lord, they shall do great things. And also they shall do things that are of exploit. May the exploit of the Lord be upon your life. There was another woman. This woman prayed and prayed and prayed. I am here to say, you should have been praying from, from, from the 1st of January or from the 8th of January and you did not able to see your breakthrough. I am here to declare, the Bible says, oh, I not prayed after she has been ridiculed. I do not understand. Oh, see, May the things that are closed in your life begin to open in the name of the Lord Jesus because a son shall be born out of your life. I don't know about you in any desire, but I am saying something is beginning to be born in your womb because God is with you. Amen. I am saying, but God tell us, I am making my business because you have taken your business and made it my advantage. Say, I'm going to make to a point of. Come to that point. Oh, to where your enemies fall back. But that, I will not sue. But you will not sue. Do this, children. We shall not let any diseases. Umakun angenelela in our church. We shall not let anything. The praise and the worship will be of different standards. Oh, I am saying the conduct of our members will be of different standards. Oh, I am saying the way I wish our children live, it will be of a different standard. I am declaring that now. But we are of a different character, of a different nature. May God bless you. May God do you good. Amen. Year 24. In Jesus mighty name. The Bible says in the book of Judges chapter number 14 there was this young man Samson in verse I am saying unto you there are things as we finish this prayer that you must not eat, that you must not do. Because if you do, you are bringing destruction unto your life. And you are limiting God to work upon you. Be because the Bible says, Samson, he grew up in stage and he had wisdom upon himself. It means he was able to decide what to do and what not to do. But he still continued to do what is not right. I am saying unto you, this, even if in Yenda, the power and the favor of God will not depart to any man called by God. Amen. And when you are called by God, the things that are happening in your life, they represent the heavens. Amen. You bring order into the heavens. And when you have brought order unto the heavens, you bring order unto your family. May your family be that of order. May as the order of God becomes great into your life, umam calls. The Bible says, this man, 
He was bound to destroy the, uh, the enemy. Your role on earth is for you to come to, to, to advance the things of the heavens. Your role in your family, the reason why you are born, is to change the status quo of your family. The role that you are here in Kuchora Central is for people to see who God is in your life. It does not matter whether we are poor men or not we are not going change. The Bible says, what is the the last hour of a call? What's a young man in Tehela? Just for the last time in Tatumbe in a second day. I want where the pillars that are strong are so that I can destroy my enemies. I am saying in your weakness of life, in where you were unable to do, you still have a chance to destroy your enemies at once. I am declaring right now, but with Uche Hope for Pillar, and he is a man the marsh. Even where you felt that things are not moving, things are not shaping. I want to destroy my enemies at once. May your enemies be destroyed in the name of Lord Jesus because of your prayers. Amen. Every prayer that you have prayed, God is with you. God is showing himself unto you. The Bible says, when I read also in the book of Kings, where we have read, there was this woman. This woman had an issue. I don't know the good when we were praying during January who had an issue. I am saying, may the issues, all your issues, be attended by my father, accompanied by Jesus, my brother, because when they are together. Things will definitely shift to a new direction. May your life shift, may your situation shift. Oh, may your situation hear the voice of the Lord, the voice of my Father, and respond. The Bible says, this woman, before that woman, there was another one, Atuminanya Kolo. And moreover, my, my husband was a man of God. He was a man that is respected. He was a man that was walking with God. He was a man that feared God. But trouble came. I don't know what to come about that. As we were praying just January, trouble came upon your life. But I am here to tell you, what to do you gonna bring all your jobs? Oh, bring all, bring all. The Bible says, Ballet. And then what you must say to her, the flow stopped. I am praying for an overflow of your life. After so she prayed, may the overflow of the Lord be doubled. And you shall have more than what you thought you need for survival. You will also have more than what you need for you and your family. You will even sell what God has given unto you. Because God will say, If you are not going to be a good may His glory be upon you. May His power be upon you. The Bible says there was also, uh, when you go down on chapter number two, it says, There was another woman. This woman had an issue as well. I don't know if I put man on the issue of Nabi Nabatuana or Nabi a return in investment. I did a big man and loot. And what that I do, what God bless her. Hey, Umtuana, where's the city is is a maker. Umkulukulu on the letter back. Chapter number eight. Because the Bible says in chapter number eight, 
when now Elijah has passed and then now says to Elisha and Elisha also a situation what is the situation that you feel about when we are is not able to bear fruits what and then but the prophet what a jar for may your life be a salt unto many what you want to say what pass in the world and the waters begin to taste may every situation that was sour in your life begin to taste this season because things are beginning to grow and as they grow in the name of the lord jesus may things be better Amen. and he threw la pause out and the river started to taste May Isimosak have the taste of the Lord. May Isimosak have that taste. What you must read, then manje said, "Can I not this woman?" And I, and I'm saying, I'm going to. I am requesting you to go because the next season shall be dry. Then you have seven years. I am requesting that seven years later you will come back. When something has been declared in your life, listen to the word of God. Listen to what God is saying in your life. The Bible says the woman came back, and then fortunately on that day, Elisha was there with the king. The house was there with the key, and then the woman entered at him. Cause same we in the eka. I am saying to those that were lost, uma upu ya eka ya ubuyela ekosi. And the Bible says what uma upu? What what the the king yona? Ikela unkazela what happened? The house narrated the story that this woman could not have children, and then the child died. And then and after that, uh, something happened, and then the child lived, and then, then after that she went. And what will happen be? And the, the land that she owned, the things that you owe, 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 the When you are home, well, that is it. We do two months of shallow more, but this one sent a tear. We call it a corner. You have been crying about to act a tear. But the Bible says when she came back, it goes the ationa. Whatever was taken from you, it shall be restored. I am saying whatever the enemy has taken. Upon your life and upon your children is being restored in the name of Jesus, and the restoration of God is not just an ordinary. Utena, the things were returned with interest. Amen. That is why our things this season are going to be returned with interest. Seven years later, the woman now did not even have a house. The woman did not even have any fields to plow, but the Bible says the king instructed the people that everyone that was occupying the space they must vacate, and every profit that they have made they must give it to this woman. May the profit of God enter into your life and enter into your space, and also enter into a level of overflow. What's the matter? The Bible says the king granted local food. May God, my Father, grant every prayer that we have made, also with interest, with return in investment, with multiplication, with enlargement. Oh, 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 with a supernatural blessing. Oh, with a divine favor. Oh, with the hand of the Lord that is upon you, when I am getting my cousin, where your name has been nullified back to me, but I am here to declare as a servant of God that from this afternoon, as we pray, as we enter tomorrow into our offices, our names are cleared in the name of Jesus, and in the clearance of our name, we are walking in power and in authority because God is with you. 
declare, oh, there is nothing that happened in vain in your life. May God give you a new strength. May God shine upon you in the name of Jesus. I want us to stand. as well this morning. Give it unto God, my Father. As we, we finish praying the, 20, uh, the, the 21 days of fasting, sitting in the even on my finances. Jehovah, because we are now Jehovah, the pillar. And in every situation that was there, I pray that let it come to life. And every money that we have lost, and all the patterns that, that, that need sealing, may God, as we pray, seal them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. When I read in the book of Jeremiah, what the Bible says, I have given you authority to tell nations. The authority that God has given unto us is to speak to nations. The authority that God has given unto us, I say, Okuluman Abu Makerwa, but is the authority of nations. It means God is giving us, is reminding us this morning to say you have been given an authority and an influence over nations. Not communities, not villages, but when your voice will be heard beyond the borders of South Africa, beyond the borders of Africa, in the whole world, you have been given influence. And as we pray, I want us to pray that let us be a church of influence. A church of influence that increased beyond South Africa. That is bigger than our province. That is bigger than the nine provinces in South Africa. But we must influence the world. May nations be in the palm of your hands. May as you, in, as you instruct nations, hear your voice. The Bible says, even kingdoms may you influence kingdoms, including the kingdom of hell, be of influence. The Bible says, We shall pull, we shall pull. Now, as we are praying, we are pulling the things. We are bringing them under our authority. We are bringing them under our power. We are bringing them under our feet because the Bible says, "Oh, scorpions don't have power over us. We shall tremble against them. I am going to pray for the spirit of overflow, but you must first pull down. We shall pray and pull down. And the Bible says, above all, we shall also knock down. You say, Uma, if you are playing it's TKO. It means whatever that was troubling you, this afternoon it shall hear your voice. And when you shall a TKO, may the TKO of your life and the TKO of God that is upon your life raise you and make sure that when you win. And your children are not passing them out of the school, but they shall live and knock down upon every situation. May the knockdown of the Lord be upon your life. The Bible says, when we have knocked it down, we destroy. May we destroy everything that comes against us. You have been given the power to destroy. 
the power to knock down, the power to pull down. I am declaring that as you pray, be serious and be intentional, that may God destroy anything in every situation. The Bible says, we have also been given the spirit to build nations. And when we build nations, we start where we are. So that the power of God can be seen. So that we can be trusted where we are. May the power of building be upon your life. The Bible says in the book of Nehemiah, Nehemiah was fighting with the other hand. He was building the temple on the other hand. I can say, let the spirit of Nehemiah be upon your life. And you fight, you build, you fight, you build. May you also build nations. May your ideas be of influence to nations. Because the nations shall be made strong because of you. As we finish this prayer, it's so desired of me that may God give you what he said in the book of Luke chapter number 6 verse 38 when it said you shall be given things in good measure pressed down shaken together oh Jesus may God give you that grace of things that will be shaken together for your advantage and also give you the spirit of overflow running over it is a season whereby we should not let we shall have more it must run over to others I pray that God do that as we pray I want to pray for three things will be done in the next few minutes the Bible says we shall pull down, knock down and destroy. Let us pray to say, Kulu Kulu, may I pull it down, may I destroy, may I knock over every situation that you have. Because the Bible says, the tablet in the power is in your tongue. Whatever you declare, it shall be. I can pray for you, I don't mind. But you must firstly tell God, Go to the of and what is it that you want to pull? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, I pray that Lord, we are pulling down all the strongholds of the devil upon my life, oh Lord, upon my children, upon my family, upon everyone close to me, and also for this church. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus that may your grace be upon us. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we pull down, we pull down, we destroy every altar of God. In the name of Jesus, that Lord, that is the name of our success, that is the name of our progress. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray right now that Lord may God know be upon our lives in Jesus' mighty name. I pray. Father, Lord God, we bless you right now in Jesus' mighty name. Everything is destroyed in the name of Jesus.
that you have hoped for for this season, may it come to pass. I pray for your good 